So first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror which paralyzes needed effort to convert retreat into advance. Hello friends and colleagues, in this video, The Dog Tells All, Standard Deviation in a Nutshell. I have a real propensity to trivialize the complex. Well, good friends, I want you to examine the following pretty little picture of a purple curve with a darker purple line in it, and we have Mu. Remember that Mu stands for the population mean. This curve is just simply a picture of how the data cluster around the mean. Because it is high in the center, that means most of the data cluster close to the mean. It's low out on the edges. That means that most of the data are not far away from the mean. And if you think about this in, in populations, if you looked at the average height of men, say if the average height of men in America is six foot one, then most men are going to cluster around that. Most of us don't know a man that's 12 feet tall, nor a man that's two feet tall. We may know somebody that's 6'3", six, 6'5", six, five, five, and uh, you might know somebody that's about 5'11", and 278 pounds of uh, bouncing, baby boy. Uh, we'll, we'll move on. In this diagram, I've now represented six little data points because what we're going to examine is standard deviation. Now, remember, we've been telling you that standard deviation is the average distance of the data from the mean. Each little point here in this, on that line beneath that purple curve represents a datum value. Now look at those little red lines and study them carefully. Each little red line is actually a distance that one of the datum lie from the mean. So we have six data points, therefore we have six little distances. Now notice that distance is always positive. It doesn't matter if you're going to the left of the mean or you're going to the right of the mean. Distance is positive. I don't know if any of you ever saw the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's a wonderful movie, but they drove the car around that they weren't supposed to be in and thought that if they put it in reverse on blocks that that would take the mileage off. It doesn't work that way. Distance is always positive, and we have six little distances of these datum from the mean. Now, if we were to take these six little distances and figure out how long they were, add them together and divide them by six, we would have the standard deviation. Standard deviation. Deviation means difference, difference from. Standard means the average distance from. The standard deviation, again, is the average distance from the mean. So we would have six distances, divide them by six, and we would have the standard deviation of this population. As with all things statistical, we have symbols. The symbols for standard deviation are as follows. This little round circle with a line on it is the Greek lowercase letter sigma. Sigma equals the population standard deviation, or sigma stands for the standard deviation of the population. The lowercase s stands for the sample standard deviation, or the standard deviation of the sample. Sigma is population standard deviation. S is sample standard deviation. Now you know the symbols. Mu, x bar, sigma, and s. One last term of interest is the variance. The variance is simply the square of the standard deviation. Now, uh, the reason variance sometimes is used is because back in the days when you didn't have calculators, nobody liked to take a square root. So what they did is they just worked with the squares of things, and they used variance. Variance is the square of the standard deviation. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Sigma squared is the population variance. S squared is the sample variance. And the cow said, moo. Hmm, wonder if the snake said sigma. Have a good day.